A heated debate as our county sees a rising number of school threats. One of the latest was spray painted messages of violence at Rancho Bernardo High School. Gun control also a hot topic in San Diego tonight. Our tenders reporter Reese Deathman has the new reward being offered about those threatening messages. Parents tonight came to voice their frustrations and asked the school what they're going to do to restore their trust. It starts at home, guys. Stop pointing the fingers at them and step up for yourself. You know what your child's doing. There is still a lot of fear in Rancho Bernardo High School. Just one day after someone painted these threatening messages of hate and violence around campus. Words like school shooting, Florida was nothing, and murder, blood, chaos, have parents questioning if their kids are safe. I mean, as a parent, you're, you, I don't know, I, I just never imagined it until I had my own kids. You know? Michelle Perry came to a school meeting tonight to talk more about how they're going to keep their kids safe. Her 15-year-old daughter texted her that morning after she saw the graffiti. These images um, that um, are quite frightening, to be honest with you. And so I immediately texted her back. I texted her the pictures and I said, you need to go to the office. You need to figure out what's going on. The principal calls it a hate crime and terroristic threats, saying the school is working with police to catch the person who did it. We have offered a $1,000 reward to the students if anyone brings us information that leads to an arrest. But it's still not enough to completely erase the fear that it could happen here. Incredibly frightening. Um, as a parent, you just you just feel so helpless. Just just really saddened by by this behavior, and uh, we all just hope that that um, that the, the individuals who who did this are are brought to justice. There is another meeting right back here on Thursday to continue to talk about ways to make sure kids stay safe. Reporting in Rancho Bernardo, Bree Steffen, 10 News.